In the annals of British history, amidst the grand tapestry of kings and queens, there emerges a figure whose reign was marked by controversy, devotion, and a relentless pursuit of her vision for England. Queen Mary I, the first female monarch to rule England in her own right, occupies a unique place in the chronicles of royalty. Her life and legacy are a testament to the complexities of power, religion, and personal conviction that define the Tudor era. Mary I, born on February 18, 1516, was the daughter of King Henry VIII and his first wife, Catherine of Aragon. As the only surviving child of their tumultuous marriage, Mary's early years were marked by uncertainty and political intrigue. Despite being declared illegitimate by her father's quest for a male heir, Mary's claim to the throne was eventually solidified upon the death of her younger half-brother, Edward VI, in 1553. Ascending to the throne at the age of 37, Mary's reign heralded a significant shift in English politics and religion. Determined to restore Catholicism to England after the tumultuous reign of her father and brother, she embarked on a series of reforms aimed at reinstating papal authority and undoing the Protestant reforms initiated by her predecessors. Mary's reign was defined by her unwavering commitment to her Catholic faith and her fervent belief in the divine right of monarchs to govern their realms. Central to her agenda was the restoration of Catholicism as the official religion of England, a task she pursued with vigor and determination. One of the most notable aspects of Mary's reign was her ruthless campaign against Protestant dissenters, earning her the infamous epithet of Bloody Mary. During her five-year reign, Mary's policies sparked religious persecution and turmoil across the realm, as hundreds of Protestants were executed for heresy. The most infamous of these persecutions was the Marian persecutions, which saw prominent Protestant leaders, such as Archbishop Thomas Cranmer and Lady Jane Grey, meet their demise at the stake. Despite the controversies surrounding her reign, Mary's legacy extends beyond religious strife. Her marriage to Philip II of Spain, though fraught with political implications, reflected her desire to strengthen England's ties with Catholic Europe. Furthermore, Mary's efforts to stabilize the economy, reform the legal system, and assert royal authority laid the groundwork for future monarchs to build upon. Mary's tumultuous upbringing, born amidst the turbulent marital disputes of her parents, Mary's early years were marked by emotional upheaval and political uncertainty. Despite being declared illegitimate by her father, she persevered through years of neglect and isolation to claim her rightful place as queen. The Spanish Connection Mary's marriage to Philip II of Spain was a strategic alliance aimed at bolstering England's ties with Catholic Europe. However, the union was met with resistance from Mary's subjects, who feared Spanish influence and domination. Despite her deep affection for Philip, the marriage failed to produce an heir, further complicating Mary's reign and succession. The Marian persecutions. Perhaps the most controversial aspect of Mary's reign was her relentless persecution of Protestant dissenters. Hundreds of individuals were executed for heresy, including prominent figures such as Archbishop Thomas Cranmer and Lady Jane Grey. The brutality of these persecutions earned Mary the infamous epithet of Bloody Mary, a moniker that continues to haunt her historical legacy. Religious reforms. Mary's fervent commitment to Catholicism shaped her policies and governance during her reign. She sought to reverse the Protestant reforms initiated by her father and brother, reinstating papal authority and dismantling the English Reformation. Despite facing staunch opposition from Protestant nobles and clergy, Mary remained steadfast in her pursuit of religious unity and orthodoxy. Queen Mary I's reign stands as a poignant chapter in the annals of English history, marked by religious strife, political intrigue, and personal conviction. Her unwavering commitment to Catholicism, coupled with her ruthless suppression of Protestant dissent, continues to polarize historians and scholars to this day. Yet. Beyond the controversies and criticisms, 
Mary's reign offers valuable insights into the complexities of power, religion, and gender in the Tudor era. As the first female monarch to rule England in her own right, Queen Mary I's legacy endures as a testament to the enduring influence of royal authority and the indomitable spirit of those who wield it.